How's it going everybody and welcome back and welcome to a very Christmassy booze review. So I've tried to go as Christmas as you can for this video. Um, we're also going to be making some cocktails soon as well uh, while recording, different video. And then obviously we've gone for the booze Christmas jumper. So today's episode of booze review obviously is going to be all Christmas themed. So, um, last year I reviewed a Bally Castle, which is Aldi's Bailey's, we did the white chocolate, and this year for Christmas they brought out mint chocolate. Obviously it's limited edition, it only costs about £4 a bottle. Um, and then as well we're going to be trying, um, I'm going to do this in the order that I'm going to try these, we've got the Brewdog Hoppy Christmas drink, which we got from the uh, Brewdog um, 12 Beers of Christmas pack, uh, so that's a festive IPA. Then we've got these two are from Sainsbury's, um, and my plan this year was to go around different supermarkets, get a few, but I've just been busy and I haven't had a chance. But it, from Sainsbury's, these were one pound eighty a bottle, which I think is very good. We've got the winter warmer ale, and then we've got um, Christmas porter, which obviously we'll go into more detail with those as we uh, as we try them. So. First of all, one I've been excited with for quite a while. I've had this actually about two weeks now, just not got around to drinking it. Well, reviewing it. Um, and apparently I can't get it to the bottle. There we go. It's like I said, last year's white chocolate one. Went down an absolute treat, and that smells fantastic. So, mint chocolate, and the smell I'm getting is kind of like uh, when you get a mint chocolate chip ice cream. Obviously, it just looks like your standard Bailey's. If you're not familiar, Bailey's is, I do believe, um, an Irish whiskey-based cream liqueur. Um, something I've always been a big fan of. Um, I'm just checking to see if that is correct. It doesn't actually say on the bottle, but I am pretty certain that it is Irish whiskey-based. Um, which is quite funny because my uh, partner hates whiskey but absolutely loves Bailey's. But that makes sense because... Bailey's is like just so different. It's only 12% volume, like I say. It smells amazing. Wow. That's absolutely gorgeous. You know, it has to be really something to impress me. Like, to really. Wow. That is absolutely gorgeous. That is so nice. You can taste the bait. Well, I keep saying the Baileys. You can taste the Bally Castle, which, let's face it, is just a cheaper and equally as nice Baileys. Uh, you can taste that perfectly, but the mint chocolate to me is like when you have, like I said, the mint chocolate ice cream. It tastes so good. It just comes shooting straight through all that flavour. And what was it like? I think it was about six pounds actually. This bottle. And it's worth every penny. I mean, it's a very good size bottle. It's the 70 cent litre bottle. Um, and it's... Oh, that's gorgeous. Um, I'm trying to think what that would go nice with. Um, I wouldn't put ice in it or anything like that. I'd put it... That would be awesome in a hot chocolate. I think that would be a perfect Christmas drink. Um, in fact, I'm going to be making this local crack chocolate soon. I think we're going to have to stick that in it. Uh, because... Why not? But yeah, that is one a 10 out of 10. If I could score it higher, I would. 11 out of 10. But you know, we're breaking breaking all the rules here on this channel. That is, I can't I can't explain enough though. That is good. Perfect value for money. Next, um, so I'm kind of doing these in what I think I'm going to like the least to the best. Because I want to end it on as much of a high as I can. So. I'm going with the Hoppy Christmas, then the Winter Warmer, and then the Christmas Porter. So I checked all of these, um, and they all need to be chilled. For, it served chilled, because we reviewed one not long ago that I chilled, and it said serve warm. So, uh, which is just about my look. Let's move you a little bit. There we go. That's better. Don't want all my crap in it, do you? Um, so, this is a festive IPA. Um, again, that's about as much as you get. Batteries not included. Very strange. Oh, okay, I get it. Yeah. Me being stupid. Because of Christmas and toys and yeah. Bloody hell, what? Maybe I got a bit excited. That's going to have the worst head ever. Nothing worse than bad head. Actually, that's turned out okay. I have spilt it on my legs. 
I imagine that, but you'd get a little bit more. Okay, that is hoppy. Right. So. Whew. Wow. It's strong. What percentage is it? I should have looked. It is a 6%. So, wow. This is a strong one. This is So far, the Brewdog beers we've reviewed, that's the strongest one yet. Previously, it was 5.1. It's... It's not got the best smell to it, however. It's very, that very strong copper smell. A bit, a few spices in there as well. I suppose that's like more of the Christmassy, maybe they've tried to mull it a bit. Let's, let's get a taste. It's, hmm. It just tastes like the other ones, to be honest. Um, I don't know if you've checked out that review. If not, I'll probably forget to put it up there. But I'll try and put it up here. Um, but um, it just tastes kind of like that. It's a bit malty, bit coppery. Nothing special to it that make, for me would make it a Christmas drink. Uh, so that's a bit of a disappointing one. Next, though, I'm hoping for a big redemption here with the Winter Warm Ale. Rich, fruity, and malty. 5.3% uh, volume. Now, I don't mind it being malty as long as it sticks with the uh, the fruity notes to it. So, um, obviously, this is same as taste a difference range, uh, but it was only £1.80 a bottle. Still is, as, as it stands, and I think it will be in the run-up to Christmas. And who knows if they've got some left after Christmas. Maybe maybe a panda ball? Be nice. Uh, this well balanced dark winter ale is brewed in Eagle Brewery. We don't care about that. Using Challenger hops, creating a rich and fruity ale with additional body and character coming from the roasted malt barley. And, oh, enjoy, enjoy it alongside a steak and ale pie. So there you go. This one gives you a little bit. I do like to have a little bit. And it says, of course, served chilled. Now, there's one thing we're going to need, and that's a bottle opener. And here we are, one bottle opener later. So, let's get it cracked. I'm going to choose a nice glass for it. We're gonna go, we'll go with the Guinness glass. Again, I've not got the best variety of glasses. I've got tons of glasses, but nothing actually matches anything I ever drink. Not that you can get a taste of difference. Glass. Lovely, nice pint bottle. So what's that? 500 mil, of course, obviously. So yeah, we've got a nice pint there of it. Let's have a... There's not much in terms of this smell. Maybe I've just got the Rona again. But <laughs> no, hopefully not. But no, nothing really in terms of the smell there. It's definitely malty. Definitely malty. I'd say definitely rich as well. I'm just trying to think like what it's telling us that we need to kind of look for. Not very fruity though. Just very strong on the malt. Yeah, not a big, not massively happy with that one. I'd probably prefer the brew dog to that. Um, and again, I wasn't impressed with that, so I think that kind of tells us where that level is. Now, the last one, the one I put all my hope in. Obviously, the um, the Bally Castle was amazing, so this hasn't been a complete loss. But I'm hoping this is going to be the good one. Now, this is the Christmas Porter. That's what the bottle looks like in case you do go looking for it. Now, the reason I'm excited for this one is it seems really up my street. I love the weird and flavoured interesting ales and things now this is dark fruit sweet plum and chocolate so i'm hoping this is going to be really good it's 5.2 percent obviously it's the same taste difference range um it says um it's using the challenger again fuggles and goldy golden golding hops uh, with chocolate mull and rolled oats um it's plum raisin nutmeg with a buttery afternoon so I'm really hoping for this one. It does say like th this is the Christmas drink. Like this is the piff one. That's your winter drink. This is your Christmas drink. So 
who knows? Fingers crossed. I really hope this is good. Um, oh, no. There we go. We're in. Here we go. Oh, that's so nice. I don't know why that was so sad. So look how nice and dark that is. I love it. It reminds me of um, the ch chocolate fudge cake one I reviewed that time. Oh, that is so satisfyingly dark. I don't know why. I don't know why I love it when they're that like really dark. That looks absolutely amazing. Oh, bloody hell, wow. That smells good. I can't figure out what the smell is there. Oh my goodness, it's, um, you can smell like the raisins. Yeah, wow. It is, it's like, it really strong with like raisins. I can't really say chocolate's coming through, but yeah, it's not, it's, it smells like, um, uh, kind of like when you smell mulled wine. Uh, that kind of smell. It smells awesome. Like really Christmassy, that is what I'm getting at. Now, the flavours, they take you back. It's not that it's a strong, well, I mean, it is a fairly strong drink, but. Oh. Wow, yeah. Yeah, definitely raisins. Like, they made sure they got that flavour in. Oh. Probably a bit too much, to be honest. No wonder I could smell it so well. Oh, dear. Oh, if you're a big fan of raisins, drink for you, you know, stock up, <laughs> but it's made me feel like a bit sick. No, I don't like that. No, no, <laughs> that would, no, that's not nice. I don't like that at all. Oh, fuck me. I can't be in any more wrong with this. That is not nice. That's not a nice drink at all. And I really had high hopes for it. Well, um, winner. Winner by far, Ballycastle. Um, definitely £6 a bottle in your local Aldi. Every time I've gone in, they've always had plenty. You know, they're getting sold, but I think they learnt last year with the white chocolate <laughs> Ballycastle um, shortage. Um, so, like I say, that is always in stock from what I can see, and it is just so worth it. Um, and if you don't find it in your local Aldi, go five minutes down the road to the next Aldi. You'll get it from there. <laughs> um, second place for this, um, I'd have to go for Brewdog. Because I didn't really like any of these, but I liked this, uh, disliked this the least. So, um, and then it'd be the Winter Warmer. And then I'm gutted, the Christmas Porter. It, it, would, it, it was shit. <laughs> Sorry for the language, but you should be 18 if you're watching this because it's booze. But... It was shit. It was bad. And it has left a bad feeling in my stomach. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Obviously, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Um, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you've tried any of these or if I've tempted you to try any. Let me know. I know by the time this goes up, it's going to be a bit like, but let me know if there's any Christmassy drinks to review. Because I still will pick them up, even if I just store them until next year. <laughs> um, but other than that, obviously, hit that subscribe button. And uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.